Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a video. It's going to be an open kit review of the new uh, asphalt modified race car from Wes's Model Car Corner and Salvino's JR Models. This has been three years in the making. A lot of work has went into getting this kit up and going because basically there was nothing to start with. There were no kits of any kind of modifieds. There were a few back in the 70s and early 80s when they re, um, reissued them. The uh, old like um, Vegas and stuff like that. But they weren't true modified race cars. They were just sort of called modifieds. But they never was really done proper. So anyway, Wes and them decided they wanted to do one the proper way. Uh, like I say, it's been a lot of time spent trying to get measurements off some of the race cars. Um, spending time getting photographs, talking to people, getting technical information. Jim Rogers with Salvino's has been doing CAD drawings. And then they had to get prototypes done. Then they had to get the molds done. Of course, then they had to get their first driver, which is going to be Zach Nolden. And that's the kit I'm going to do an open box kit review of. I just got my hands on it finally. Uh, like I said, they're just now going out to the distributors. Uh, it actually is sold out. The kit is sold out. Uh, the distributors that have them, that's all that's left of them. As soon as the distributors, which a lot of people pre-ordered, so the distributors won't keep them long. Uh, from my understanding, there's going to probably be four or five more coming down the line. The second one coming out will be uh, Burt Meyer's car, and it's due out actually in uh, two to three weeks probably. By the end of December, we should have that one. And of course, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of aftermarket decals coming along the way for a lot of the other drivers and all. If you're not familiar with modified racing, it's undoubtedly, hands down, the best racing you will see. I know NASCAR is popular and the modifieds are a division of NASCAR, but until you see a modified race in person and actually sit there, and when they call them ground pounders, they are ground pounders. You will feel it in sitting in the stands. Uh, down here in the south, um, at Bowman Gray and Winston-Salem, that is known as the Madhouse. And on Saturday nights during the spring and the summer, there's nothing like being at Bowman Gray. That place is crazy. When it comes to modifieds, they love their modifieds. And of course, you got the Wheeling Series up north. Uh, a lot of the big drivers are up there. And a lot of those drivers will be jumping on board probably and letting their um, decals be made for their cars. But I know Wes has several lined up, so we're waiting to see who the others are going to be. But in the meantime, uh, like I said, I'm going to do a kit review of this one. I'm sure there's already been some. I know there's already been some because I've seen some. And I know there's going to be others coming, but i got to get my hands on one and open it up and see what, what it is for myself. Uh, as soon as I open it up, we'll probably be doing a quick uh, build of one just at, straight out of the box of Zach's car, just so I can see how it builds up. Uh, like I said, I've actually got two other group builds that I'm trying to do before January, but um, I'm going to try to get one of these done just to see how they build up. So anyway, with that, let's get building. Okay, everybody, so we're back here, and we're going to do this open box review of the new uh, Zach Nolden uh, Asphalt Modified Race Car. Uh, this is the first in a series that Wes's Model Car Corner uh, is going to put out. Wes and Lisa, they've been on this project for three years, along with Salvino's JR Models. It's been uh, a while in the making, and um, I actually had to wait a few extra days on mine to come in because... The post office decided to send my order on a scenic tour of a couple other states and then decided to keep it overnight two extra nights than what it was supposed to, but finally got mine today. I've actually already opened the box. I haven't opened the uh, parts yet, but I know these boxes are hard to get off, so I went on and took a box uh, top off of it. Uh, also, I was going to show you on the side. Um, it said stay tuned for the brand new modified accessory set by uh, Wes's Model Car Corner. 
this set he actually showed on his video the other night on his Facebook channel. Uh, I'll show you the uh, parts tree here in a minute that's going to come all chrome in that accessory set. It's going to have the Nerf bars, the wheels, the air cleaner, and some other stuff. And like I said, I'll show it to you here in just a little bit. Um, and by the way, if you're not getting all your stuff from Wes's Model Car Corner, you need to be thinking about it. Uh, Wes and Lisa, they've got a great online store. It's uh, Wes's Model Car Corner dot myshopify dot com. I'll put it, uh, a link on it in my uh, description of the video here after a while. But uh, they've got just about anything you need. And they're on top of all the new kits coming out, plus a lot of the older kits uh, they've got in stock uh, as well. So if you get a chance, go to that uh, website and start getting your stuff from them. And also go to their uh, Facebook page, uh, Wes's Model Car Corner, for all the updates on these and any of the new kits and um, hobby supplies coming out. So let's get digging with some parts. Uh, the first thing I see here in the kit, uh, it's on top right here, will be the glass. Uh, I'm not going to take it out of the bag because it's got a couple of little small windows right here. But as you can see right here, it's got, let's see, I may have to just go and take it out because glare is going to be too much, I think. So right here on the back, we've got the uh, spoiler, which is clear on the, um, if you can see. Yeah, anyway, so this will be the spoiler, this uh, which is actually clear um, plexiglass on the race cars. Uh, right here, we have what would be the front windshield. I uh, hope you can see that. See a little bit. And then over here, we have one of the um, front quarter windows which uh, some of the drivers run and some of them don't. So you have the option to use it or not to use it. That's up to you. Lay the glass to the side here. And then um, the tires. Let's open one bag of this up. Set this to the side. So, um, the tires are really, really slick, and it's not going to take much sanding at all. It's just a real faint seam line on the center of the tire right there, and then uh, where it uh, comes off the um, sprue right there, where they're cut off. But you're going to have to sand them anyway to make them look like they've been run, so by the time you give it a light sanding, them things are going to be perfect. And... So yeah, they're and they, like I said, they've got a real good rubbery feel to them. So they're going to be good. They're going to take the decals really well right there. So yeah, that's definitely a good set of tires. Let's see here. Let's get into the parts here. I've been seeing a lot of guys on. Um, the channels already they've been already getting some of theirs completed and they've been jumping on them so this first uh, parts tree right here this is actually the tree that I was talking about will be chrome plated uh, in the accessory pack when it comes out I think Wes said in um, January possibly but all the nerf bars right here these front nerf bars um, the heads uh, like I said the uh, air cleaner, some of your oil tanks, your wheels, steering wheel, backs of the wheels, and then these uh, rear panels. This will all be chrome plated. Uh, Wes had talked about uh, most of the cars don't run this chrome plated, these um, covers right here and then these front covers. Uh, he said it actually was going to cost more to have this part cut off and not chrome. So. Uh, I think he said there was two cars they found out that actually ran this chrome plated on uh, these parts right here that's uh, in the back of the car. So he said he just went on and is going to chrome everything. And then if you don't want it chrome, of course, we can just uh, soak it in some oven cleaner or some of the other stuff everybody likes to use. Take your chrome off and then just paint it. Give it a good uh, priming. But anyway, in this kit right here, all of these parts, of course, as you can see, are white. Uh, the wheels are a two-piece, 
and let's see here and then um let's see if i can mark it. the backs of the wheels right here or they're going to have the uh, uh holes right here where they will mount up on the um the suspension part when we get to that let's see here we'll get to that here in just a minute but like i said it's a two-piece wheel uh like i said the nerf bars the heads the oil reservoirs the air cleaner um looks like the uh oil reservoir is a two-piece and like i said you got your gear shift and then of course your, uh, your rear panels that will be in the uh, back window area and then this will be the inside of the car in the back uh, around the fender wells so but all of that looks really good no flashing whatsoever um it's gonna make up make up to be really good on those pieces right there so then the next um uh, sprue tree we have right here this looks to be i say you got your fuel cell some of your front uh see your springs uh here's the seat i believe it's a three-piece seat um i'll look at it here in just a little bit when we get to instruction sheet but um let's see what is up here maybe we can see a little bit better um like i said you got uh, your front a arms you got steering columns um brake you know your uh, pedal um stuff here's uh this looks probably to be the rear springs uh fire extinguisher um so this will be your netting that goes up on the front windshield beside the front windshield uh this looks to be uh some of the exhaust i believe uh we'll look at it here in a minute that might now the exhaust is over on the other tree um and like i said most of this is just all suspension stuff uh the window net and several other pieces like i said this piece right here just looks to be all suspension um so anyway but all of it looks good so let's see here let's get the next tree out yeah and here's um like i said your exhaust this would be your uh all your exhaust pieces here's your heads uh this would be it looks to be the rear bar like would be what would be the rear bumper on the back of the car um oh yeah here's the hubs i was talking about uh this will mount i'll show you when we get to the instruction sheet let's see let me pull the see if i can get one of the wheels back up here anyway when these wheels when you go to mount them the holes i were talking about right here wes was talking about they will mount up directly to this um hub plate that will glue on the um on the car where the axles are at so that's a pretty neat idea because you could actually leave the wheel off and you could still see the studs on the wheel right here so that's actually a pretty good idea right there the way he did that um over here you've got the uh, of course the engine block um front and rear parts of the uh, mounting for the engine you got your pulleys your um belts of course you got your carburetor um water pump you got two different um intakes and i'll show you how that works here in just a little bit when we get to the instruction sheet of course you got your transmission you got your um um radiator hoses and other lines you got the bottom of the uh, engine block the uh, oil pan and see there's the battery and again it looks like probably some suspension parts here's some brake calibers um not quite sure what this piece right here is yet like i said we can look at it on the um instruction sheet so yeah there's um mostly uh engine and rest of the uh suspension parts on this tree of course you got your um, radiator and your fans um and wes was talking about um also the fans right here you can see the uh, electrical lines running to the uh, electric fans i don't know if you can see it um if i zoom in but right there so anyway you can uh detail that time you paint it put your little wash down in there and let all of that highlight and all it's going to be a pretty good piece right there and then we started getting into the body components um the body is all 
um, in separate pieces, which is actually the way the car is done. Of course, right here will be your two uh, side pieces. And then this looks right here to be probably the top. And this I know is the rear because right here is the uh, fuel where the fuel filler uh, comes out on the back, uh, the um, overflow. And then you've got two different uh, hoods on this car. You've got what they call the flat hood, and then you've got what they call the dome hood, the rounded hood. So that's pretty good. They've got two different hoods on that. Uh, it's not going to take a whole lot to clean up on the inside of these where the um, push pin marks are at. It'll be a little bit of sanding, but nowhere near what I've seen on a lot of the uh, bodies on cars and all. And let's see here. I believe, let's see, yeah, I think um, he was talking about on some of the cars, um, there's three different versions where the guys run on this um back window right here and I'll see if I can show you on the box um see like on Zach Nolan's this comes back here sort of in a triangle right? it comes back to a point but Wes actually fixed it um where it's squared up right here so like some of the drivers do so you can actually start cutting as you need of the three different ways that the drivers run it so you can cut the plastic off on the inside so that way you don't have to add plastic you can actually just be cutting the plastic off so that's going to be a pretty good deal right there uh, I'm glad he thought about that and like I said up here is the rest of the front of the car up up, up front of the uh, engine it's a panel right there and there's another panel goes on the front uh there's two different panels because this right here uh would be like where um the air goes into the radiator and all this would be like a screen you could probably cut that out and put a screen in there and make it look more realistic if you wanted to really detail it so that's uh some of the body panels and then we've got right here some of the interior uh, in fact all the interior I believe we've got uh, all the roll cage um, all the roll bars all of this right here makes up the um, roll cage right here we've got this would be on the uh, inside of the car like where the uh, gear shift lever would mount right up here you got the dash where your um, gauges and switches and all would be and then of course right here we've got the other side of the um, roll bar and all and then of course we got separate pieces that will tie in the two sides of the roll bars across the top um, bars up I believe that one would be up through the middle or across the top so yeah this is all um, interior stuff right here and again there's gonna be very little cleanup on this it would take just a little bit where they've pushed it out but like I said no flashing and everything really looks good on this so let's take a look at the instruction sheet and the decals so let's see the first and these decals were done by um cartograph so i don't have to say much about that everybody knows how a cartograph decals are um there's actually no harley trim that you got to take if any uh, all the clear there's no excess it's I mean right up to the decal and that's it when it looks when you pretty much cut this decal out you are right on the money there's going to be no extra that you got to worry about trying to cut out so like I said you've got all the decals for the Zach Nolan um, all the sponsorship stuff uh, I know uh, Wes said that they had to add in the Salvino's logo and then the Wes's model car corner to make sure nobody tried to copy this thing so they've got that on there so you can either cut it out or you can actually put it up on the front hood part uh wes actually has his logo on a couple cars uh on the series and he's got of course the hoosier decals for the tires and like i said everything's here um there's your gauges more of the Hoosier because you got to run um, two on each wheel on each tire 
and but yeah this orange man that is some fluorescent orange I don't know if it's showing good in the video or not but it definitely is fluorescent orange so yeah that's going to be really good lay these to a sign and then the instruction sheet and this is like a typical uh, Salvino's uh, instruction sheet opens up um, really wide uh, I know I'll never get all of it in here but we'll try to take it page by page let's see if we can cut it light off Truck cut some glare off so uh, up here at the top it talks you know basically like all of them do you know the tools needed which all of us build models we pretty much know what tools we need but in case somebody new is into the hobby which I hope more people are joining the hobby that would give them an idea what they need and Wes has pretty much said over and over and over and over in all his videos on this thing make sure you read all the stuff in the instructions he said make sure that you just use um, styrene type glue or either a styrene solvent uh, like tube glue which uh, most of us I don't think use tube glue anymore but there's probably some that do but they're saying do not use um, any kind of like super glues because there's a lot of tight tolerances on this kit and if you don't use a solvent based glue you're going to get into trouble so uh, and then of course over here we've got the collar call outs um, it looks like there's just one two three four five six seven eight about ten collars that's uh, about all they're calling for on this car right here particular car and like most kits uh, starts out with a basic engine build uh, you got your block like I say your oil pan heads valve covers um, front and rear mounts um, and all that and then down here where I was talking about let's see here if I can uh, zoom in a little bit maybe it'll do a little bit better let's see here yeah that's a little bit better okay so anyway on the uh, like I said on the back you got a two-piece transmission which you got to put together and then there's an intake and a carburetor set up one is for the square hood and one is for the bubble hood uh, make sure you think ahead and figure out which hood you want to use and then you'll know which um, intake and carburetor setup to use uh, as you can, I don't know if you can see it good in the video but there is um, some like fuel lines and stuff like that on the carburetor it's rare you ever see anything like that on a uh, actual model kit most time you just have to add that on I'm sure a lot of guys will be cutting this part off and adding actual um, uh, the actual detail lines braided lines which um, I'm sure a lot of them will and then of course you got the rest of the engine you got your um, pumps uh, starters uh, pulleys belts um, and then uh, stuff back here and then we go over to uh, number three here yeah back out a little bit and then we start on the interior working on the roll cage uh, like I said you got the crossbar in the back you got your driver side full roll cage on the whole body you got your front uh, looks like putting in some front suspension uh, it's a center bar as we talked about the seat it's actually a three-piece like I talked about uh, that's pretty good. That's really realistic. I've seen the kit put together, uh, the seat put together in some pictures, and it is a realistic looking seat. Then you move over, you add your seat to the um, floor pan, and then you start putting in your um, pedals and start adding that to your center console piece. Then you come over here, and of course, the center console piece would go into the floor pan. And then it comes down and see if I cut the light back on. No, no, still don't need that light. So then we put uh, start putting um, the uh, steering column, uh, steering bar in. The crossbar is on the roll cage. And it does says right here to trim this section from part B51. 
so apparently that was used for some other kits or something or it was too long but you do have to shave a piece off of that for it to be the right length right there then in here over here in step eight we start putting in the steering column steering wheel uh the front uh, leg supports for the seat uh the dash uh fire extinguisher gear shift uh looks like maybe um right here like a computer uh or some of the electronic diagnostics that go on the floor right there so then we come over here and go to number nine and start putting in the uh, oil cooler and start putting in the rear shocks and support bars for that over here and then um, start building the rear end uh, that's about let's see that's two three four five six seven about an eight piece uh, build right there for the rear end um, but it's really realistic looking uh, and then of course step 12 we're going to add the rear end to the rear suspension across the uh, roll bars then we start adding another um, support bar right here then step 14 we're going to drop your motor in and get it mounted in then we come over here to step 15 and start adding all the front uh, sway bars. Let's see, yeah, the sway bar, there's uh, springs, A arms, and spindles. Looks like what we're adding there. Step 16 looks like we're going to add the uh, radiator, uh, which is going to be a two piece. It does say right here to uh, drop assembly into frame, but don't glue yet. So then I guess down here where we're adding the, um, this is under shock tower and plug into the top of the water pump and radiator. So that would be the top radiator hose right there. So I guess we're not gluing it in to get a little bit of play till we get everything glued in place. And then we put in the lower radiator hose right here. And again, I guess that's why we're not gluing it in solid until after all of that's done to make sure everything fits up good and snug. Uh, step 19, we're going to come down here and put a two-piece fuel cell in. Get all that uh, mounted up in the rear of the car. And then in step 20, we start putting the, um, see the calipers and then start building the uh, hubs and all that for the... Um, wheels and tires to go on to step 21 is same thing just on the other side uh, step 22 we're going to add um, what would be the clear windshield that uh, we showed in the uh, start of the video and then of course the um, I think what they call them like rock shield or gravel shield and like I said if you're just doing a stock build um, that would be okay, but I'm sure a lot of the guys when they get into super detailing, they're just going to get some um, some uh, graph type material or um, something like like a screen material, which is readily available to craft stores. So we'll probably be replacing that. And then step 23, we start putting in the drive shaft and um, the third member back here, I believe we call it. And then in step 24, we start adding those um, uh, rear covers and uh, wheel well covers where we showed earlier on the uh, body uh, parts frame. And then in step 25, we actually start covering the body up. Uh, this would be the right-hand side body uh, panel that will go in. And then the left side body panel and then you got your a pillar right here which is the clear a pillar uh as i said on the uh, clear tree some drivers run them some drivers don't um not sure if you can see uh right there's the a pillar right there uh see so it says put on um align the um attached to a uh, c85 which is the side panel then put on the um clear a pillar um, to it and the frame so make sure you get the side panel put on before you try to fit that uh, clear piece then 
come over here to step 27 and we're going to glue the side panels on the front around the front suspension on and then you've got this front panel where I was talking about earlier uh, it will go on and then come down here to step 28 and we have the roof going on and this rear panel where I was talking about because right here it shows um, the uh, I guess would be like the fuel pump or well it's farther where the fuel lines come together at but one piece will go into the um, side panel where the fuel filler neck would be and then you've got another um, a piece that will go into the fuel cell and then right here would be the um, uh, overflow that would come out the rear of the car right here so this is where all the hoses and inlets and outlets cross right here and it's mounted to the top of the fuel cell and I talked about earlier about that rear bumper uh, it's right here and like I said it will attach to the back right here and I know Wes said that there's a couple little tabs on here to make sure when you cut this piece off the sprue you don't cut those pieces off because they fit onto the frame right here and let's see here then down here in 29 are those two um, rear body panels that I was talking about that covers up all the rear suspension and fuel cell and all of that down here and of course you got your clear um, uh, spoiler right here and this looks like it would be let's see these are support bars and then of course you got your exhaust uh, there are two piece uh, both sides are two piece like some of the a lot of the kits are and then we go on step 30 we go back up to the front and put on a couple more panels one well the uh, exhaust and a side panel on each side uh, I guess you have to put the panel on after you get the exhaust um, or I guess we'll see here when we get into it uh, again here's your two different hoods you've got a rounded hood and a flat hood and right there is the front uh, piece that goes with each hood so again you have to decide which way you want to go with it and then down here in step 31 we're going to start putting on the rear nerf bars and then of course the side nerf bars and the front nerf bar and if you're not real familiar with modifieds uh, if you ever go to a modified race, you'll find out why these Nerf bars are on here. Because one, these big old tires are sticking out. And trust me, this front and rear Nerf bar, they are used and used and used. Uh, they pretty much are replacing them after every race. Because there is nothing left of them when they get done a race. Uh, and then of course over here, we've got the um, front and rear wheel part going into the tire and then we're going to come down here and step 32 and we're going to add the air cleaner which is a two-piece uh, i have seen some of the guys actually drilling into the carburetor right here and running like a a small wire or a needle up uh, sewing needle different ways you can do it and then when you take your uh, air cleaner off it actually looks like the stud where the air cleaner would stick on to. Um, I know Wes did that and I know some of the other guys have already started doing that. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of guys super detailing these things. My intention right now is to build this one just box stock. Um, I'm not going to fly through the build, but I'm going to try to build it fairly quick so I can do a review of how it builds up. Um, I've been wanting to see how it actually does once I got one in hand. But like I said, after the first one, some of the other builds I do will probably be somewhat detailed. Um, I may try to do one or two super detailed. Um, some I'll just probably change up some of the um, netting and stuff like we had talked about where you can do um, change up, you know, add some uh, different brake stuff, uh, oil lines and so forth. But we'll get into that at another time so with that that's the kit review of this uh zach nolan um asphalt modified race car uh like i said wes and them have one more coming out they said around christmas which is the burt myers car 
and he said in his video the other night that he's got four lined up for sometime first of next year is when he's going to uh, announce who the four drivers are uh, plus the accessory kit where I talked about so after first of the year there will be some announcements on all of that uh, like I said, if you're not on his Facebook page, you really should get on it. Uh, again, it's Wes's Model Car Corner. Uh, just go to Facebook and look that up and uh, join his page. Make sure if you do try to join his page, you put a, um, a picture on there of some kind. Uh, he won't accept you if there's not a photo on your page. And make sure you answer the questions that he puts on there. Uh, he just does all that to make sure it's secure and that there's no no bad stuff or nobody bad trying to get onto the website or the Facebook page. So just make sure you do those two things if you try to join the Facebook page. And again, I'll put a link to his website on there. Um, like I said, all the new kits coming out, not just modifieds or race cars, but any new kits. All the Revels, Round 2s, um, Fujimis, all of them. I mean, he try, he keeps up with everything. And he's put in Tamaya paints, um, MCW paints, um, decals, accessory stuff, detail parts. And he's got a little shop down in, I believe it's in Bluntville, Tennessee. It's just below uh, Bristol. And he's got two guys that ship his stuff out for him, Tim and Doug. And they work their tails off staying up with all the stuff that needs to go out. I know all these modifieds right now, they are just chomping at the bit to get the stuff out, working just every day hard as they can to get all this stuff out to everybody. So anyway, they got a shop. They're actually, they're shipping stuff out all during the week, but three days a week, Thursday, Friday, um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I'll get it right here in a minute. Um, they're actually open to the public. You can actually go by and just drop in if you want to buy something, pick something up if you order it whatever they're there um like i said tuesdays thursdays and saturdays so with that that's it on the review and one other thing real quick and here is a um my shop card i've already been giving some out at the shows and i've mailed some out to some of the um other youtubers and content creators if anybody would like a shop card um, I'll put a link in um, my description on the video as well on my email. Just send me an email and I'll be glad to send you a shop card. If you have one, I'd love to have one of your shop cards. Um, like everybody, I'm trying to collect them. I've got a few started where I've been picking up at the shows when I meet people at the shows. So, But anyway, if you're interested in a um, shop card, like I said, just drop me an email and I'll get you one in the mail. And with that, I believe that's going to do it for today. Um, I should have another review. I'm going to try to do the 72 Ford Ranger XLT with the snow plow this weekend. Um, hopefully, I'll get that done. As soon as I get it done, I'll get it up for everybody to look at. But with that, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, I appreciate everybody that's been subscribing to my channel. Uh, it's growing slowly, which is what it what it does. All the others, it's not an overnight thing, but I really do appreciate it. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. If uh, you don't like them, just give me a thumbs down. That's the only way I'm going to learn. So I'll figure out what I'm not doing right and try to do better at it. But um, with that, I appreciate it. Until next time. We'll see you.